Oh, hello. Sorry, I was deeply engrossed in the latest John Grisham I've been reading on my Amazon Kindle whilst relaxing in this fabulously comfortable armchair. Yes, all right, Jules. Don't mind her, she's just bitter because she lost the armchair coin toss. But no matter where you're sitting, there's no better way to take in a good book than with an e-book reader. It's a bookworm's dream. Jules, you couldn't be more right, and I may not have the cosy setup, clearly, but I've got the latest Sony reader, so clearly this is an e-book reader face-off. I may as well start with the Kindle. It's already the poster child for e-book readers, but can it remain the face of electronic reading? It's smaller and lighter than its predecessor, and now comes in this rather alluring graphite flavour. It doesn't quite have the premium feel of the original Kindle or the Sony reader, but it's thin, well-built, and looks good. I must admit, I prefer the page turn buttons to the touchscreen approach, and love that it has a brilliantly fast refresh rate. Well, faster than the Sony's anyway. And like the Kindle DX, it comes with a text-to-speech feature and lets you share notes on selected passengers instantly to your Twitter and Facebook accounts. Just be aware that not everyone may share your passion for reading. The Kindle store is refined and affordable, and the option of buying novels over the free and fast WhisperNet 3G connection is enough to muster up some geek-induced excitement. But its killer feature really has to be the price. Wi-Fi and Go Anywhere 3G downloading for £150, or Wi-Fi only for just £109. Now that's cheap electronic reading. OK, so Jules has just gone to the toilet, so I've nicked his chair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so as he so kindly pointed out earlier, yes, the Sony Reader's page refresh rate isn't as fast, but design-wise, it's nice and slim and every bit as gorgeous as the Kindle with its brushed aluminium body and touch-sensitive screen. However, unlike the Kindle, there's no Wi-Fi, so when you want to update that e-book collection, you're going to have to plug it in. Sony's original Reader Touch Edition was excellent, but it suffered from an overly reflective screen. Luckily, the latest model doesn't suffer from the same fate. It's less glossy and much easier to read in daylight, although its display isn't as visually appealing as the Kindle's. Like we've seen before, a single swipe turns the pages, but you will notice a slight delay while the screen refreshes. But on the plus side, pages are now much quicker at refreshing when you swipe across that screen than they were before. And your fingerprints will smudge the screen, so luckily there's a stylus on hand to help out. And to top it all off, not only do you get 2 gig of internal storage, but SD and memory stick slots mean more room for expansion. And despite lacking Wi-Fi, ebook readers don't get much better looking than this. With improved screens, better battery lives and lower price tags, ebook readers are more desirable than ever. So we're dealing with two very capable ebook readers here, but which one should bookworms be packing into their satchel? Well, the Kindle is very well made with a great e-ink screen, is brilliant value and has the best bookstore of any ebook reader. There's also a nifty case available with reading light that's powered solely by your Kindle. And while the Sony Reader is just as good, sadly, it just misses out on that top spot due to our affinity for the Kindle's buttons, that faster page refresh rate, and of course, that brilliantly affordable price tag, making the Kindle our winner.